Um, excuse me, Mr. Smith, can I please use the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? Oh, sorry. When I was using the word can, I was using its secondary model form as a verbal modifier to ask a question as opposed to expressing an ability. So, you know, since you're a teacher, I thought you'd understand that. My bad. May I please use the restroom? Just go. What's up guys, it's me John. So you may have noticed, today's not Sunday, it's Saturday. And the reason is, is because I decided to start posting my videos on Saturdays. Because it's a little more convenient for me, and hopefully it's a little more convenient for you too. If not, whatever, they're gonna be posted on Saturdays from now on. Boo hoo, life sucks. If you used your common sense, you may have guessed that this week's video is about school. Ah, school. Hell in a handbasket. The three things I wanna discuss with you today about school are work, students, and teachers. Now if you know me, I'm a lazy bum. I might not even edit this video when I'm done filming it. Why? Because I'm lazy. When it comes to schoolwork, you probably guess I'm not doing much of that either. Because it really tends to get in the way of other things, like sleep, relaxing, social life. Well, I don't need to worry about that. And you too. I love you. Come here. You know, the things that make me well-rounded. Speaking of well-rounded, add me to your circle on Google Plus. Go do it now. Link in the description. Put all this stuff you're never gonna use in real life. How to find the circumference of a left foot? And then we move on to the student body. You know what? Screw the student body. I'm just gonna rant more about the popular kids. That's what I like to do. Now kids, take this advice from your Uncle John. For to be popular, you need to evolve these three things. You need to be a people pleaser, be good at sports, and insanely attractive. Usually if you have looks and you're a people pleaser, meaning you're not awkward, you know how to make someone laugh, sports don't really matter all that much. If you're good looking and good at sports, it helps not to be awkward too. For people pleaser and good at sports, you kinda have your foot in the popularity door, but... Meh, I am so shallow in this video, holy cow. Now, if you only have two of those three things, good luck, you probably have a 70% chance of being in the popular crowd. One of those three things, you're definitely not gonna get in. I am living proof of that, because even though I'm chock full of sexy, I still can't get into the popular crowd. But you can always try to impress the popular kids by talking about what they want to talk about. Like, uh, sports. Hey, man. Oh, hey. So, them Lakers, right? Yeah, I heard they're not playing this year. Why? NBA lockout. Oh, yeah. Not gonna be definitely a season this year. Why? Did the groundhog not see a shadow? <laughs> Don't <worry. laughs> Here, friends. See ya. So yeah, that's how you make friends in my book. <laughs> or you could just join a sports team. Oh, actually, no, on second thought, I've seen the football team and all the hard drills they do during practice. I see them throwing up and stuff. Popularity isn't worth that. After all, I have you guys. All 15 of you. <laughs> you are not a loser, you hear me? You're a winner, no matter what anybody says. Who am I kidding? I'm fat. <laughs> oink, oink. I'm just kidding, that was dramatization. Mmm, licorice. Ah, uh, pet dragon. Pet hat. Pet cat. Pet mirror. And then you have the teachers who yell and stuff, but I don't want to get into all that. This video is boring enough anyway. Now it's time for that weekly thing we do. All right, the common question of the day. So last time I asked you guys, what's the best invention? And here are a few responses. Memester786 said the toilet. Okay, that's creative. All right, let's just go to the next one. Juicy Green 28 said toilets. Is this seriously the best comments you guys are coming up with? I mean, I don't even know why we're gonna do this and they're just gonna come up with the same comments. Just keep over going, come on, let's do this time. This isn't even the best invention. Dazzy Dan said flushing toilets. Oh my god. Toilet itself? That's not really an invention. Well, it is, but it's disgusting. Toilet that gets rid of the extra toy waste itself? Genius! Dan, you deserve a round of applause, brother, for coming up with the best invention. So, anyway, thanks a lot for your responses and it's time for the new question. Which is, if you could teach any subject in school, what would you teach? Me personally, I teach the art of how to be sexy because, you know, that was kind of my major in college. Anyway, leave your answers down below. You can even at reply them to me on Twitter or send them to me on Google+. By the way, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I kind of have a Twitter. And the link is always in the description, so you should, like, head over there and follow me. This guy's been sitting here wondering where you all have been, so uh, you should go say hi sometime. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please support me by making sweet, sweet love to that like button. Or just clicking it. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. I'm going to go, and I'll see you next Saturday for a new video. Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. Well, actually, I did. 
Shut up, Sarah. You know what I'm talking about. In fact, I have some music suggestions for you that are about 